Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. So today's video is for the newest release from China Glaze. This is their spring 2023 collection called Hello Sugar. As far as I can tell, this collection is inspired by candy, and I want to put this out there now. If you were disappointed by China Glaze's 2022 releases, I think we might be in for a much better year for 2023, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> so before we get into today's video, I do want to mention, if you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just how's everyone's week going? As always, down in the description box, I will have links to where you can purchase these polishes. If you want to pick this collection up at a discount and support the channel beyondpolish.com has this collection now and if you use my affiliate code Nicola's nail you can save 10% on your order I will also have links to the China Glaze social media pages my social media pages as well as a link to my blog post on nicolasnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos as well as provide a written review and of course timestamps are in the description box as well let's get into this video first that we have gimme sugar I do not have official descriptions for these yet so I'm just gonna call this one a bleach neon pastel peach creme polish gimme sugar had a beautiful formula it applied just really creamy and smoothly also self-leveled really nicely I was very happy with how well this polish self-leveled I really expected it to be kind of chalky and kind of like meh it was one of the first colors that I swatched and I was really expecting it to just be like super uneven super chalky and just like all around just not fun application so like the fact that application was 10 out of 10 on it I was very happy with it so I love how bright this color is it does appear to have some neon pigment in it as it does glow under black light. I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. It is going to be a two to three coater depending on application and personal preference. I have a very low tolerance to light spots, so I did add a third coat just to cover any of those up. But depending on application and personal preference, two to three coater, but you will want top coat for a nice glossy finish. Next up we have here for the candy, which I will describe as a pale pinky lavender pastel creme polish. This one also had a really great formula. It was a little bit streaky on that first coat, but not unusually so for a color that is so light. It was another super creamy application and the base did not feel overly thick or thin at all. I do want to note, I am still trying to get used to having short nails and I keep having an issue where I kind of overload my brush a little bit. So like if it seems like I'm putting a lot of polish on my nail, it's because I am. I'm, I'm not used to polishing on such short nails so bear with me I didn't think that I was going to like this one like I thought it was gonna be way too light for me to personally enjoy I actually did really end up liking this one quite a bit like I, I think it's pretty cute I swatched it in two coats I think it's gonna be a two to three coater depending on application and your nail length Next up we have Holy Sugar which I will describe as a bleach neon yellow cream polish this one had a really good formula. I was I was expecting the worst out of this polish. It applied really creamy. It was not at all chalky or difficult to work with in my experience. I do think depending on application, it's gonna be a two to three coater. When I was doing my full hand swatches, I had like two nails that were good in two coats, one nail that definitely needed three, and another nail that was like pretty okay, but I ended up doing three coats just for even coverage everywhere. Now, yellow and white cremes are the only colors that I'll be like, yeah, I can do three coats and it's no big deal. This color is just so bright and fun and gorgeous. Just, this is a beautiful color. Next up, we have Kid in a Candy Store. This one had a pretty good formula. I do wanna note a couple of things though. One, this has a slightly chalky application. Not terrible, but just enough to be noticeable, especially since all the other polishes had a very like creamy, buttery, smooth application. I haven't had this polish for very long, but my bottle is already starting to get some ugly bottle syndrome, which isn't really like the worst thing in the world or really like an issue at all. Like it doesn't affect like the polish's performance or anything. It's just a little unsightly, but you know, I love this color. Like this is a bright pink and it's bright, it's light at the same time. And I just absolutely loved it. Photo show kid in a candy store in two coats plus glossy top coat. And now we have Sugar Junkie. I would describe this one as a bright neon fuchsia creme polish. I actually had to go and Google the difference between fuchsia and magenta. I'm 
not a smart man. Is a very slight cool kind of purpley undertone to this one. Like it's definitely like, I would classify it as a pink shade, but there is like a very cool purpley tone to it as well. So I'm going to call it fuchsia, but depending on lighting, it might lean a little bit magenta. Isn't color theory fun? Like who would have guessed depending on lighting, a color is going to be different. Just wow. <laughs> anyway, I love this color. If you spend any time on this YouTube channel, you knew immediately that I was going to love this color and this is not a surprise to anyone. It's just absolutely gorgeous, super, super bright. I love it. I swatched it in two coats plus glossy top coat. And the final polish is called Sweeter Than Sugar. This is like a darker, more saturated version of Gimme Sugar. I would describe this one as like a pastel neon peach creme polish. This polish had a fantastic formula. There was a very slight chalkiness to it, but nothing that made application difficult. It was surprisingly opaque, self-leveled perfectly. I want to note, because this one definitely has like a lot of neon pigment in it, it was incredibly difficult to get this one color accurate. A studio lighting full hand swatches are gonna be the most color accurate. I found my natural light shots not come out color accurate at all. The time of day wasn't, it was at the end of the day, so I lost most of the natural light and I just don't like how those came out at all, but I wanted to include them just to show this will look different in different light sources. That is two coats of sweeter than sugar. Okay, so final thoughts. When I saw this collection was all creme finishes, I was just like, disappointed! Mm, no. No. However, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that all of these polishes are like a pastel neon or like an acid wash neon. So you don't have just your typical pastel creams, which I personally appreciate. I also really appreciated that all of these polishes had pretty good formulas. Like there wasn't a bad polish in the entire collection, which I definitely just, I appreciate. I feel like 2022 was a rough year for China Glaze, so we're starting off pretty good in my personal opinion. My top pick is going to be Sugar Junkie. The formula on this one was like the best out of all the polishes in my personal opinion. I just loved how bright and vibrant this one was. It was just a really gorgeous color. And then my honorable mention is going to go to Sweeter Than Sugar. This is just a super bright color and like this is, this is a definitely a pedicure color for me. I forgot to mention my one and only complaint about this release is I really thought with the name like Hello Sugar that we would have like textured like sugar effect polishes. I wish that we had something other than just a whole bunch of creams, but like I'm not mad that we had like good formulated creams either, especially after last year. I would have known everyone else thought of this release. Like, are you planning on picking these up? Are you excited for what China Glaze is gonna bring to the table for 2023? I personally am very excited. Before we end today's video, I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, besties. Just thank you all so freaking much. Like, I just really appreciate all the support. Your names are all on the screen right now. If you would like to join my channel members, I will have a link for that in the description box. So thank you all so very much for watching today's video. Before we end, I do want to mention I am currently running a buy one get one sale over on my DStash page. If you would like to pick up some polishes, help support the channel, help me pay for all these dang collections, I would really appreciate it. But if not, that's fine too. Like it's, it's not a big deal. Just everyone, thank you very much. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.